All right, all right, all right. Back after a long time, back on some Skyrim here. Um, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you played Skyrim before. If not, it doesn't matter. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do like a jack of all trades or a master of all trades character build. So, uh, just a really OP build mastering all three main styles of play so mage uh stealth archer if you will and warrior <clears throat> and i'm sure if you've ever played skyrim before you all know how to create such op characters especially stealth archers really quickly it's not too hard but i've formulated a cool little uh unique run to do this it's not going to be a a um it's not going to be a speed run by any means, but I'm going to try to put together like a ridiculously powerful character early on. And, you know, you could just make a bazillion potions and get rich and buy skill training and all that. But, you know what, This, if you played Skyrim a bazillion times, this might be something you've never done before. It might be interesting. I don't know. Let me know. Um, this is a save, as you can see. Uh, Maybe not, maybe not, you can't see too well, but this is a uh, save right as you exit uh, Helgen. I'm starting here just because the intro to the game is so monotonous, and what I did was... Uh, this is set to a depth because I saved afterwards, but I actually ran through Helgen on legendary difficulty and just used nothing besides one hand the entire time. The point of that is... On legendary, the enemies are such damaged sponges that by the time, if you use strictly like one-handed uh, in Helgen on legendary, by the time you get out the back, you should be level three. You should have two per points to spare. It's a great way to kick off any character build, regardless of whether or not you're going to play on legendary, which I'm not because I dislike having to shoot a dude with no helmet on in the head, like you know, four times, 16 times with a longbow on the forehead. It's not, it's not my cup of tea, but if you want to, go ahead. I'm going to uh, slap it back down to adept, which is like regular. Um, and just quickly before we get started here, uh, this Helgen Keep power start, if you will. Um, I don't know if other people do this. I just got the idea from Major Slack Attack, or Major, Major Slack videos. Put the link in the description. Uh, not trying to jack his fucking uh, his techniques or anything. It's just too good of a technique to pass up, like I said, for any character build. To just come out the end of uh, Helgen with two uh, uh, two perk points. So that's about it. Um, yeah. So let's just get right into it here. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. Better clear out of here. We're just gonna ignore him. Now I'd love to sit and listen to him. <clears throat> to the story. Collecting pretty much everything between here and Riverwood. Especially more Tapanella. That's a rare uh, useful ingredient. And what do I have configured here? Okay. I'm gonna branch off to the left here. There's a unmarked bandit camp here with some loot that I want. Get this guy while he's stuck in the wood chopping animation. Over here! Get rid of these guys. If you're playing on, on legendary, then that's probably a, a not... I mean, it's doable, but... Uh, the archer will always have this treasure map. You definitely want to grab that. It spawns in a treasure chest that only spawns once you have that map. What's our way like? Okay, let me. 
me just drop uh, things and I'm not even too worried about finding a third guy in the grass today. Third, I killed the third guy already, my bad. Okay. It's a skill book here. Some people like to leave skill books until they're done with however much skill training they're willing to buy, but I just say fuck it and I just uh, pick it up. Anyways, we'll run down here to this shrine of Talos. How are these holes? Always. Where's this, this guy right here? This Thalmor soldier always has. That's a huge jackpot. He always has some sort of enchanted thing. I hit the quick save on that. I'm sorry. I can't resist. Uh, that should be good. I don't think there's anything else. Okay. That, yeah, that Thalmor soldier there always has some, some good stuff. Oh, fuck. Sneeze season, apparently. Um, heading back from where, where we came, just stepped our road there. Come down around the Guardian Stones here. As you've probably noticed, um, first of all, I'm gonna hit the thieves. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit the thief stone up here. Um, but if you haven't noticed already, I have mods, but nothing I'll do in any of my videos will be, uh, none of, none of the stuff I do will require mods, basically, so all my shit is totally vanilla friendly. 99% of my mods anyways are literally just visual, as you can see, uh, I have Verdant, and it makes foliage look amazing, but... While I'm recording, it doesn't too much like my CPU doesn't too much like recording and playing this game at the same time. But for right now, it's not too bad. Um, Discovery Aunt Denise's cabin here. We'll be coming back to that later. Um, drop over the edge here, just east of her cabin. Come down here. Find this deer skeleton inside. There's a flawless emerald. That's really good to pick up early on. Right around right here is a random event location where a lot of the times you'll come by and there'll just be some sort of random event. Wait. Oh, it's the rabbit I hear. What? Sounds so strange. Okay. There's some more tapanella. Um. Drop down here. Wings. Hopefully my keyboard's not overly click clacky. I tried my best. Okay, this um, falling over. That's Riverwood right there. This uh, treasure chest right in here is the treasure chest that spawns from that uh, uh, from that uh, treasure map we got, and that'll only be there if you pick that up. Slaughterfish scales. I'm gonna cross over. Grab those. I'm gonna grab these and that. Uh, and we're gonna head into. I actually spy some more and more attack now. It's a tongue twister. There's some. I'm sure I'm just passing up on some. I'm just grabbing the ones that I know of off the top of my head. Talk to Savannah. Did I see you talking to Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. 
An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. You don't sound very thinking. sure. Maybe Camilla. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. What All is right, it, then. woman? Sven drunk on the job again? I want the cabbages. Hit up the Riverwood Trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. So I don't know what you dialogue. heard, but the Riverwood. So uh, sure yeah, an ornament, solid this. gold in the shape. You could. I've got some coin Long coming story, in from sure. my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. A golden claw has been stolen. Show those thieves not to get, steal. Get Trinkets, back. odds and ends. I'm gonna that sell sort of off. Thing. Uh, all my stuff here. If he sells things one by one rather than by the bunch it levels speech up faster oh, that's a huge score early on keep the novice hood Take a look. My bad. I'm using an ultra wide monitor, so I have to use a workaround to fix the UI so the menus are a little uh, funky sometimes. Uh, sell him the amethyst. Uh, in fact, sell him the bear pelt. Oh, he doesn't have enough for that. Okay. Sell him that. Let's actually see what does he have. Nothing in the way of spells. Give me all your lockpicks. And what about potions? What does he have? Let's grab just enough. Jesus Some may Jesus. call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, we're done. Now, if you're going to get those things, you should. Okay, we didn't try to come out. Now we're gonna quickly. I forgot. We're gonna talk to her real quick. This way. Another Lie. poem. I've... What's this? You can tell Sven that he already has a. Now find out if you're a follower if you don't know. Which means. You can use a little bit of an exploit. <laughs> I'm sure all of you know. If you have a follower that's also a skill trainer, you can just take your money back from them. I don't think it's that much of an exploit because it's not been patched no. in Raven. What's going on? however long it's been around years and years so i can't remember when i last new to riverwood of course oh what's this all about what are you two doing here saw a dragon it would explain what i saw earlier. tell you I the don't same know thing why. things just go f the yarl needs to we need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whitefell to send whatever well, troops he can. Heard about Alfred, if you do true. that for me, I'll be here. Okay, um, Camilla will walk you down if you go with her. She'll walk you down right to the end of the bridge and then point you the way up to Bleak Falls Barrow. Um, we split trunks like this. If they have more tap and L on them, there'll be one on each side and. If it's a solid trunk, uh, I don't know, I should have a good example at the moment. Here's another split, so there'll be two. I'm actually getting shot at with arrows by something I heard. The oh, the shooting arrows at the punch trap. I thought there was a random. And I heard the arrow and I just ignored it because I thought I was crazy. Um, there's, uh, more is happening on. I'm just heading back up this way, because I'm going to go straight to Bleak Falls Barrow. How much more is happening on do we have? That's 17 already, that's not bad, that's pretty damn good. Hit the quick save. Um... You could just use that. This right here is literally a ramp to go right up. So I'm just gonna use 
is uh, there is actually a staircase where you saw me look at it earlier. Um, let me put that on. And the tail removal kit, which is a mod I have, it just removes beast race tails when you have it equipped. That's it. Just to, uh. Just to remove the tail because the clips on Armin looks funky. Okay. On our way to Bleak Falls Barrow, which is up there around the corner, there's this little unmarked. One dude is always leading against that tree, like you saw. This dude patrols in and out. This guy patrols along that bridge in and out, and then in the tower, the big boss man's at the top. or just train him around here. My adept may look uh, pretty easy right now, but tomatoes are valuable right now, so far. Adept may look easy right now, which it is, but uh, things are gonna progress pretty quickly with what I have planned. And Probably gonna end up actually under leveled for how fast we're gonna level up, but there's some tricks to deal with that. Anyways, a hook around here from the unmarked tower. If you don't already know, here's Bleak Falls Barrow. Um, I think there's like another three guys here. Yeah, there's three. There's one right there. There's another one. I'm actually going to wait because the guard will come on patrol and stop right there and you can, you can get them. I'm gonna wait for that unless I see an opportunity. There we go. Rule of thumb, usually aim a little bit higher than you think you have to. should push down the stairs. I'm gonna actually go launch an arrow over there to see if they can be distracted by that. Doesn't seem to have worked. Do the old duck under when they start to swing. They see this like how there is. This little cubby right here is like the best place to hide. I, it's, 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 it works really well. I should have used that, but you can come around here, take a pot shot at them, and then where'd that guy go? Oh, he's over there. And then, uh, then you can dip around in that little cubby there and hide. Let me just grab the studded iron. I think that studded armor outperforms our current. No, but looks cooler, so. Getting frostbite on our feet. No. Now, uh. I 
she's on. Okay, we're gonna enter Bleak Falls where there'll be two bandits talking. Rule of thumb, aim a little bit higher than you think you have to, for the most part. I'm gonna use that arrow to to get distracted by it. Save again. There's nothing in those urns. Excuse me, there's nothing up there. Some minor loot here. Normally, I would advise not taking lin wraps because they're not useful for anything, but. Pretty much the only mod that I have that changes gameplay at all is a armor mod. Immersive armor just adds in a uh, uh, realistic looking, lore friendly for the most part armors, and none of the stats are like crazy uh, OP or anything. They're all comparable to vanilla things. They just look cooler than vanilla armors to me. I need linen wraps to create a specific set of armor that I'll be using. You can kill this dude or you can get some mild humor out of his fuck up here. So this is the first puzzle. Before we start the puzzle, come up here. Grab, there's always some sort of leveled health potion right there. Okay, here's the puzzle. You have these three pillars here. They rotate with three sides each. Use your clue. Snake, something, whale. This has fallen off the wall, so the key is snake, snake, whale. I should open that up. Sold down, empty. There's a pickpocket skill book here. Again, some people like to save them until they're done training or until they reach level 90 because trainers can't train skills past level 90. So people like to get a free 5 levels to 100, but I'd rather just pick them up for the We just contracted the taxi, yeah, unfortunately. Dirty animals like uh, these disgusting skeevers and wolves and even bears they can all give you diseases uh, and different diseases you can contract other diseases from different things that are not from animals but for the most part they come from getting hit by disgusting animals and to check your diseases go to active effects we have a taxi so we've reduced lockpick and pickpocket 25% that's not gonna affect us just yet we have we probably have a we don't actually normally I actually forgot normally I buy one off of Luke and other river what trader because um, he usually has one for sale that's the way to continue for free you go that way 
take a hint at what this dude was going for. Go through these webs here, and there's a, there's a chest might have something decent. Take his journal and read it. Uh, it might help you on uh, an upcoming puzzle, but I don't think I'll be needing it. Here, okay, I'm gonna quick save again. Oh, call me a pussy for quick saving. <laughs> Um, speaking of that, let me know, if you're watching this, let me know what platform you're playing on. Console, PC, what? Quick saving is, is amazing. So, anyways. Uh, in Nordic ruins like this, if you don't know, there's these things called Draugr. They look like this. They look like zombies, basically. And they like to play possum. As you can see, I don't know how well you can see this in the video, but up there, on, this, on the top bunk there, there's a complete skeleton. Nothing on the top bunk can come up to life, only on the bottom. And only, uh, the way to tell the difference is whether or not they're wearing armor and they have a weapon equipped it. Your equipment equipped it. Um, so you see this dude, he's completely naked. He has no clothes and he has no weapon on his, on his, uh, hip there. So he's dead. This dude, I can clearly see he has armor, so he's faking it. When they're laying down, and you're in sneak mode, you usually aim the reticle right at the bottom of the torso. And you uh, hit them. See, no armor. So. He's dead. That dude is alive. And so is that guy. Let me... This guy in the... That's gonna wake the other guy up. Ooh. Ain't that... Okay, that's it for this room. So yeah, um... Top monk. They can never get off the top monk. Skeletons. Um... Pretty easy to tell if they're completely dead and they look like this, then. Uh, or if they look like this rather than they're dead, they're not gonna get up. But if they have armor on, or you can see a weapon equipped on them. Now, you might search a dude like this, and he might have like hide boots on, or a weapon, even though you can't see it. And it could still be dead, but if they have a visible weapon on their waist, then they are. Uh, indeed faking it. Um, the 
This is a pressure plate. Do not hit that. There's another guy right here. Let's see. We can have some fun. This is a tough guy. Pipe him arrows into him. Huh? Let's see if we can get him to walk right into this. mediocre at best. Sometimes if you get if you get them on a, they're on a dead sprint and they die from that and they hit that, they'll go flying into that wall like ridiculously fast. Good for a cheap eye. Um, okay, here's a good example of um, a drug that's really good at tricking you. This one right here is alive. And it's a female jogger character model, which is super rare. Um, and it looks really similar to just the dead jogger. You could barely see that they have clothing, but if you peek... Oh, it's dark. You probably won't be able to see, but I can see a, an axe equipped. And that awoke some of the other ones. I'm going to dip back and shoot an arrow over there to keep them occupied distract them with that shoot another one of that. Oh, replace uh, the hunting bow on Hakia. Dude, oh uh, yeah, that's my uh, armor mod. 90, like, I have like 99% of them turned off anyway, so um, this is what I was talking about. If we can, oh, you can barely pull it out. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's literally really hard to tell. The difference between this jogger character model and uh, this one. They're super similar. The only giveaway is uh, the visible axe on the side. I can see them. The chest up here. Try not to spam my space button because it's ridiculously loud. said I did a, a Helgen power start which just put the difficulty on legendary use nothing but one handed run through uh, Helgen keep using nothing but one handed spam it on all the guys and he should come out with two perk points <clears throat> and since then I've double leveled we have two or we have four perk points right now I want to save two of them I'm going to get overdraw
sip of coffee here, my bad. <clears throat> um, this is an oil slick here. Wake this dude up. Usually that wakes up, there's two more guys around the corner, usually it wakes them up and they, you might be able to get them to run into that. Let's see if we can level sneak. Just by hiding, if we get the eye icon to fully close. See if we can level sneak again just by getting it to close. As long as it doesn't fully go open, the uh, the eye I'm referring to my reticle, um, the entire time that it goes from being partially open. Uh, uh, the entire time it goes from being partially open to fully close, like it is now, will level sneak if it fully opens and you get detected, then I think there's a buffer. I don't know how long it takes, but there's a... Oh, no. Oh, sneezily. Oh, my goodness. That's what made sneezing. Jeez. Oh, there's a buffer. I think it's like 30 seconds. You have to be totally undetected after you get spotted. For 30 seconds, I think. Um, before you can start leveling sneak again. straight up equip the pickaxe, like a sword, um, and you can even equip two of them and dual wheel as power attack, or veins to mine them faster, if you do that, you can, uh, cause a glitch to, uh, th uh, the ore vein won't respawn sometimes if you do that, and as you saw there, you, uh, when you, uh, mine, you have a chance to gain, uh, Precious gems, I just got a garnet out of that. So that's pretty cool. Scroll fireball. If you can't get all of these, um, usually uh, you can, per cluster of three, you can select one. So there would be three here, that's one, two. Um, but they're like the most pain in the ass ingredient to, to collect, so if you can't get them, you struggle to get them, done. don't worry about it. Okay, so what I was saying about clusters of three, per three mushrooms, like in a little group, three or four mushrooms, you can, there's usually one, so you know if you're missing one. See, it looks like there should be more to grab, but there's not, it's really only. They're really like finicky, like you have to be right in the right place for them. Where we just came from. This is where we have to go, due north. 
can use these kind of like a step here to get up on the wall. This is where they start to get funky because the devs just made these so hard to pick and they love putting them like up on the sides of walls where they're like such a pain to grab. You have to literally be looking at like the perfect like little tendril to grab them. Again, I saw him. This is kind of funny because you can play Ring Around the Rosie with this guy. Six, please don't, don't deal with balance like that, where the dude literally like, and they do it. It's not even, that's not even the worst case. I'm sure if you played this kind before, you, you've uh, had a shot lined up. You're completely hidden. The dude has no idea you're there. He has his back to you. You shoot an arrow at him from like 60 feet away, and he just, he just sidesteps, like instantly. Matrix slides. Does the electric slide to the left three feet? Just dodges everything. Uh, just dodges it completely, and then doesn't even acknowledge that he just dodged an arrow. He just dodges it. Spidey senses. So ridiculous. Okay, here's uh, a puzzle door. There's three rings. They can all be changed. Um, this is where the golden key comes in. To find the correct order, look at the golden key. It's bear, moth, and owl. And you can move multiple rings at once. So once. Uh, do every ring twice. Put the golden key in. And we're in. Um, there's a bunch of other claws. We have the golden claw right now. There's a bunch of other ones like diamond. Ruby, Emerald, uh, all those different claws can be found in other dungeons and they all function the exact same way. They all have a different combo uh, on the dials on these puzzle lock doors. Um, and you find out the combination the same way as on the golden claw. You look at the bottom of them. Spooky bats. Okay, here's the boss chamber. This is the final of Bleak Falls Barrow. I don't think I've ever 
never looked up there once before, and this is actually really cool. I bet I found that. Um, that is a word wall, which will unlock a word of power, which we'll get in a minute, but that will also trigger the boss fight. So before you do that, come around back with the word wall. Grab this sneaky little chest here. It's a very well hidden chest. Kinda cool. Um, here we'll leave this stuff first. He won't pop, he's in here and he won't pop out of that unless... Oh my. Look at this. Oh my god. That's a modded weapon. This is, so you can see it's not ridiculous, it's just, I just took it by accident, but, um, look at these, that's a crazy find right there. These are not modded. That's pretty crazy. I'm a quick save. Once we get this word of power and we approach his, uh, sarcophagus to see it's gonna pop, and it's gonna be like an overlord. Miss. you take this dragon stone. Um, outside. He doesn't have any ranged attacks besides um, uh, besides the unrelenting force shit. So if you just dodge that and keep a healthy distance away from me, even on legendary, he can, it'll take a lot longer, but you can definitely whittle him down, it's not the most challenging of boss fights. Hit this lever to uh, open the secret passageway. Um, I did not put my phone on silent because that's how professional I am. Apologies. <laughs> Pop out the back here. That's Bleak Falls Barrow. So, um, I recommend doing the, the, what I just did before you head to Whiterun because once you get there and you talk to the Arrow, he's going to send you back here to get that Dragonstone. So you might as well just uh, go through, do that whole rigmarole <clears throat> and bring it right to him so you don't have to come back. Um, I'm going to call it a video here. Um, Next video, I'm gonna do a quick run around Lake Yelonalto, which is this right here. Collect some key uh, valuables that are gonna help progress this crazy run that I have. And then we're gonna make our way back down to Riverwood, sell off all our junk, do a little bit of archery training and whatnot, loot the town. And then we're gonna head um, down to White Run, do the whole. Uh, white run spiel get that all dealt with um, And then we're going to blast down the northeast of this river We're gonna cut due north um, Right about here before Valheim towers and we're gonna hit up uh, Shear point which is like right here, I believe And that's gonna give us a very very valuable show um, The throw boy showed and then we're going to continue on pushing north, and I'll explain more about that later. Uh, can't let you know too much about my secret master plan here, but it's going to be pretty cool. Like I said, I'm sure most people watching this have seen uh, uh, seen tons of or er, seen tons of Skyrim videos and played tons of Skyrim, so they know 
most of the ways how to build an OP character, but I just wanted to create a cool run using some uh, cool uh, techniques and strategies that I've created myself. So I put together a little uh, little run around Skyrim here. Of course, Rogers hits me with that phone call. So I guess that's my cue to get out of here. Um, if anyone is even watching this, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what platform you play on, how long you've been playing Skyrim, uh, what's your go-to race for your character in Skyrim, and what's your go-to playstyle, be it a mage, uh, one-handed, two-handed warrior, or a stealth archer. Let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that uh, typical stuff YouTube people say. Uh, see you in the next one. Goodbye.